Our theme for today is Paul, Christ revealed in him, and the scripture reading is recorded in Galatians 1 verses 15 to 16, and it reads as follows. But when God who set me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son in me, so that I may preach him among the Gentiles. My immediate response was not to consult any human being. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Beloved, in order to show his Galatian readers that what he taught them about Christ came directly from Christ, nothing of all. Paul is reminding them of his own story. He had described his years in Judaism when he was a Pharisee. He was so opposed to Jesus of Nazareth that he arrested, imprisoned, and approved the killing of Christians. He was so zealous for the tradition that he advanced beyond his peers in Jewish leadership. Then everything changed. Paul's story is that God appeared to him, beloved, and turned him around. Acts 9, verses 1 to 22. Now looking back, Paul says he now understands that God set him apart for this role of apostle before he was even born. In other words, Paul did not simply rethink his life and change course, no. Paul intervened in this situation. Paul intervened not out of his own but directed by the Spirit of God. Now God intervened to put Paul now in the role God is destined him to fill. Secondly, Paul writes that God called him by his grace, through Christ. Paul understands that just as nobody earned status before God, he had, he had not earned status even the role as apostle. Paul only represented Christ to the Galatians and to everyone else by the grace of God. That is what Paul is saying. God did this to him. He did not choose it. He simply received it. And as we look at our lives today, in the manner and the way we do things, we ought to project the same sentiments that we are what we are in Christ and what we do, we do in the name of Christ. And furthermore, if what we do, our ministry, in whatever it is today, we should reveal Christ through what we do and say. And I hope congregation we will find in our hearts today and our busy schedules today, time to reflect on God's word as also as how to reveal Christ in what we say and do through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Knowing that in Christ, by Christ, with Christ, and through Christ, all things are possible. May God bless you as you repeat and underline Paul's words as Christ revealed in us our ministry.
Will we read of a place that's called heaven? And it's made for the pure and the free. Yes, it is. And these true in God's word, He hath given. How beautiful heaven must be. Oh, help me sing it now. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, today we thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father, that we were set apart. Lord, use us as your instruments so that we may not only preach your word, but also live out your word. I pray that we will make you the center of our lives. Father, whenever we speak your word, may it not be our voices that are heard, but allow the Holy Spirit to speak through us. Bless us and keep us safe, O Lord, and guide us to stay steadfast in your word. This I pray in your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 